So friends, Donald Trump's lawyers have tried to push Donald Trump's federal trial in Washington, D.C. about two and a half to three years down the road. And now, in a new court filing, special counsel Jack Smith pushes back. Let's talk about that, because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So friends, you probably heard the absurd request by Donald Trump's lawyers to push his trial in Washington, D.C., you know, the one for trying to criminally overturn the results of a presidential election. They try to push that trial two and a half to three years down the road. All the while, Donald Trump yelling and screaming and posting that he's completely innocent and he will be fully exonerated at trial. But I don't want to go to trial for about three years. If you're innocent and you will be fully exonerated at trial, you want to go to trial tomorrow, if not yesterday. Well, now special counsel Jack Smith is pushing back. Let's start with the new reporting. This from the Washington Post. Headline, Justice Department pushes back against Trump's bid for a 2026 trial in D.C. And that article begins, The Justice Department pushed back Monday on former President Donald Trump's claims that he cannot be ready to go to trial in January on charges that he illegally sought to subvert the results of the 2020 election. A trial in D.C. federal court in April 2026, which Trump's attorneys requested, quote, would deny the public its right to a speedy trial, closed quote, attorneys working for special counsel Jack Smith wrote in Monday's filing. In arguing for its, the prosecution's, preferred January 2nd, 2024 date, the prosecutor said that they do not intend to use classified information against Trump in this case, U.S. District Judge Tanya Chutkin is expected to set a trial date at a hearing August 28th. If prosecutors get their way, Trump will face two federal criminal trials before the 2024 presidential race in which he is the leading Republican contender. Now, friends, let's have a look at a few select portions of Jack Smith's new court filing pushing back. In the case of United States versus Donald J. Trump, here is how the government's brief opens. The government submits this reply to aid the court in setting a fair and prompt trial schedule. In service of a proposed trial date in 2026 that would deny the public its right to a speedy trial, the defendant cites inapposite statistics and cases, overstates the amount of new and non-duplicative discovery, and exaggerates the challenge of reviewing it effectively. For the reasons below, neither the discovery nor any other factor raised by the defense impedes a fair trial on the schedule proposed by the government. And then Jack Smith goes on to debunk or put in accurate context defense claim after defense claim after defense claim as but one example. The defense in its brief says, you know, other cases have taken much longer to get to trial. And in the defense brief, they cite a couple of examples of cases that took a long time to get to trial. And then Jack Smith tells the court the rest of the story, as Paul Harvey used to say. The data cited by the defendant, the other cases that took longer to go to trial, the data cited by the defendant spans October 2021 through September 2022, when federal courts were pulling out of a backlog caused by COVID-19 closures. During that period, 
Only 22 cases went to trial nationwide. This small and skewed sample provides no help to the court in deciding an appropriate trial date. And then Jack Smith goes on to debunk something else that the defense attorneys for Donald Trump had put in their earlier filing, urging the court to kick the trial two and a half to three years down the road. They said, well, well judge, if you took all the discovery that the government is expected to give us, all the pieces of paper and you piled them up, they would be taller than the Washington Monument. And they had these little Mickey Mouse mock-ups, little diagrams in their filing with the court, embarrassing as it was. And they said, look, look at how tall this column of paper would be as compared to the Washington Monument. And they made claims like, well, you know, the volume of discovery, if we had to read it all, it would be like us having to read the novel War and Peace, Tolstoy's War and Peace, you know, many times every day between now and January. Yeah, well, Jack Smith was not going to leave that nonsense unaddressed. In cases such as this one, the burden of reviewing discovery cannot be measured by page count alone. And comparisons to the height of the Washington Monument and the length of a Tolstoy novel are neither helpful nor insightful. In fact, comparisons such as those are a distraction from the issue at hand, which is determining what is required to prepare for trial. To accomplish that, the discovery should instead be measured by its relevance, organization, accessibility, searchability, and reviewability. Here, the government has organized and produced materials in a manner designed to ease and expedite the defendant's review and search, which allows for a trial to proceed as the government has proposed. You're beginning to get the picture here, friends? So let's just jump right to the concluding paragraph of Jack Smith's filing. In addition, Setting a schedule in this case with deadlines for various disclosures can address many of the defendant's other purported concerns. For instance, the government agrees with the defense suggestion that the court may order the government to identify the exhibits sought to be introduced in its case in chief well in advance of trial. The government is prepared to do just that and to comply with any other advance deadline imposed by the court to ensure that this case moves forward expeditiously and fairly. Through reasoned discretionary scheduling orders like these, the court can fairly administer the prompt disposition of this case. Mm. Friends, here's all I want to say about this. In Jack Smith and his team, of federal prosecutors. We have a fierce advocate. We have a fierce advocate for a speedy trial. We have a fierce advocate for the rule of law. We have a fierce advocate for the pursuit of justice. And yes, justice matters. And for a very long time, you know, we have been in a desert of accountability. But more and more every day, I really am sensing that we are about to be handed a tall, cool drink. Friends, as always, please stay safe. Please stay tuned. And I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.